हेलो एव्री वन वेलकम बैक टू एम एम आर् कामर्स अकाडमी यूट्यूब झानल नैन डाक्टर मलारे अस्टेंट प्रोफेसर आफ् कामर्स चूस्त एम एम आर् कामर्स अकाडमी यूट्यूब झानल फ्रेंड्स मन कामर्स जेएल डीएल इंपारटे बिट्स मन डिस्कसम वीडियो याज मैं कामर्स जेएल डीएल सिलबस मोदी सबजेक्ट अने वाटी फैनाशि मेनेज ना इंपारटे बिट्स मैं डिस्कसम फैनाशि मेनेज सिलबस मरक मुख्यमंत्री टापिक अनेट लिवरेजेस नीजु मन इंपारटे बिट्स एटने मैं डिस्कसम इंदो सो इधर के नैन फैनाशि मेनेज डिफरेंट टापिक संबंधी नाग वीडियो नैन ना चाने असान वाट चूँ वाट की संबंधी लिंक नैन डिस्क्रिपन इच्छा सो so, ई रोज मनम लिवरेज संबंधी मोस्ट इंपारटे बिट्स एटने वीडियो मन डिस्कसम अच्छे पाइंट्स मेरे चूसे मुझे और सारी लैसन रीड तरह यह वीडियो चूस ना बेनिफिट उ सो इक ना चाने मोदी चूस वारे दयचे सब्सक्रैब् चुस्को पक्न बेलैका प्रेस नयो वीडियो नोटिफिकेसन द्वारा राव जरूर नव लैट्स गेट इन टू दि टापिक सो इधी मन इप्ड वरकू ना चाने नाग वीडियो नैन अड्डा सो इधो वीडियो यह वीडियो अने लिवरेज संबंधी इंपारटे बिट्स तैयार वीडियो नवरी सो वीडियो स्कीपेक चवर वर चूँ इंदो शार प्राब्लम्स नावे चूप्चन जरूर सो चवर वर चूसी बेनिफिट पंदर सो नौ लैट कम टू दि फस्ट क्वेश्चन द फम्स एबिटी टू यूज फिस्ड कास्ट फंड इंक्रीज दि रिटर्न टू इट्स ओनर्स इज नोन ऐस The options are A. Leverage, B. Capitalization, C. Cost of capital, D. All of the above. The correct answer is A. Leverage. So, what do you mean by leverage here? So, the firm's ability to use fixed cost funds like uh, debentures and preference share capital. So, by using these fixed cost funds, if the firm tries to increase the returns to its owners, then that process or that ability is called as leverage. अंत स्थि व्यय कल फंड यूज द्वारा ओनर्स रिटर्न इंक्रीजे एबिटी कैपासीटी मन लिवरेज इकट्छ कम टू दि सैकंड प्रॉब्लम विच आफ दि फाइंग लिवरेज काल ऐस ट्रेडिंग आक्विटी सो ए आपरेटिंग लिवरेज बी फैनाशल लिवरेज सी कंपोजिट लिवरेज डी आल आफ दि अबो सो बी इज दि रईट आसर दट फैनाशल लिवरेज फैनाशल लिवरेज ईज Regarded or called as trading on equity. Coming to the third question, the use of long-term fixed interest-bearing debt and preference share capital along with equity share capital is called as a operating leverage, b composite leverage, c financial leverage, d none of the above. So the correct answer for this question is c financial leverage. Coming to the next question, the financial leverage is used to magnify. The A debenture holders earnings, B preference share holders earnings, C employees earnings, D equity share holders earnings. So the correct answer is D equity share holders earnings. Uh, next important question is the degree of financial leverage measures the impact of change in operating income. That is EBIT. EBIT stands for earnings before interest and tax on change. In options are A earnings on equity capital, B earnings on preference capital, C earnings on debt, D none of the above. So now the correct answer is A earnings on equity capital. So the degree of financial leverage measures the impact of change in the operating income that is EBIT on change in the earnings on equity capital. So that is the correct one. Uh, coming to next important question, which of the following is the limitation of Limitations of financial leverage: A. Double-edged weapon. B. Increases risk and rate of interest. C. Restrictions from financial institutions. D. All of the above. So the right answer is D. All of the above. Coming to next important question: When fixed cost remaining same, the percentage change in operating revenue will be more than the percentage change in sales is known as. options a financial leverage b operating leverage c composite leverage d none of the above so the correct answer is operating leverage coming to next one operating leverage can be determined by means of a break even analysis b cost volume profit analysis c ratio analysis 
D A R B. So here the correct answer is D A R B. So operating leverage can be determined by means of break even analysis or the cost volume profit analysis CVP can also be used to determine the uh, operating leverage. So both A or B can be used. So that is the D answer. Next one, what is the correct formula for degree of operating leverage? So DOL is equal to percentage change in profits by percentage change in sales. B, DOL is equal to percentage change in sales by percentage change in profit. C, DOL is equal to percentage change in profits into percentage change in sales. D, none of the above. The correct answer for this question is A, that is uh, DOL, that is degree of operating leverage is equal to percentage change in profits by percentage change in sales. Coming to next question, the percentage change in profits will be more in a situation with A, lower fixed cost, B, higher fixed cost, C, no fixed cost, D, none of the above. The correct answer is B, higher fixed cost. Coming to next one, so this is uh, one of the problems from leverages. So the okay, important problem, it went short problems round and make cash mundi. Now let us look at the problem. Sales is rupees 8000, variable cost is rupees 5600, fixed cost is rupees 1200. What is the operating leverage? Now in order to calculate the operating leverage, first you need to know the formula used for calculating the operating leverage. Now let us look at the calculation part. Now operating leverage is equal to the formula is contribution by operating profit. So here contribution can be uh, calculated by following the formula that is sales minus variable cost is equal to contribution. That is sales given in the problem is 8000 minus variable cost is 5600. Therefore the amount is 2400 is the contribution for this problem. Now operating profit. Operating profit is also called as EBIT. EBIT means earnings before interest and tax. So that can be calculated by following this formula that is operating profit is equal to sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost. So this uh, formula can be used in order to find out the operating profit. I will tell the operating profit and EBIT are two of them. I will tell you the formula for this formula. So, here the operating profit in this problem is 8,000 sales minus variable cost 5,600 minus fixed cost 1,200 is equal to the resulting amount is 1,200. That is operating profit. So, we have to calculate the formula for the formula. Now, operating leverage is equal to contribution that is 2400 by operating profit that is also known as EBIT 1200. Therefore, the answer is 2. Uh, therefore, the correct answer for this problem is 2. Uh, C is the correct answer. 2 is the correct operating leverage. Coming to next one, a high operating leverage will have a low margin of safety, b high margin of safety, C, no margin of safety, D, all of the above. So the correct answer is uh, A, low margin of safety. When there is a high leverage, it means that there will be low margin of safety. Coming to next important question, which of the following is correct formula for degree of composite leverage? Option A, DCL is equal to operating leverage plus financial leverage. B, DCL is equal to percentage change in sales by percentage change in EPS, that is earnings per share. Uh, C is equal, DCL is equal to percentage change in EPS by percentage change in sales. D is equal to operating leverage by financial leverage. So now correct uh, formula is C, DCL is equal to percentage change in EPS by percentage change in sales. That is the correct formula that can be used for calculating degree of composite leverage. Coming to next important uh, problem, a company has sales of rupees 5 lakh variable cost of rupees 3 lakh, fixed cost of rupees 1 lakh and long term loans of rupees 4 lakh at 10 percent rate of interest. What is the operating leverage? Now let us look at the calculation part. So here calculation part can choose the operating leverage is equal to contribution by operating profit. In the problem operating profit is equal to EBIT 
the nebiate and kuda chepochu earnings before interest and tax so here contribution can be calculated by following uh, sales minus variable cost formula that is contribution is equal to sales 5 lakh as given in the problem so now variable cost is 3 lakhs then the contribution is 2 lakh rupees uh, let us calculate the operating profit operating profit is equal to sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost that is 5 lakh rupees minus 3 lakh variable cost minus 1 lakh fixed cost is equal to 1 lakh so 2 lakhs by 1 lakh is equal to 2 so therefore the correct answer for this question is 2 option a is the correct one so if then the formula and good pet koni calculation part good things code and dwara miru exam lo it went to problem which in a problem is the gas all charge Coming to the next uh, problem, a firm has sales of rupees 20 lakh, variable cost of rupees 14 lakh, fixed cost of rupees 4 lakh, and debt of rupees 10 lakh at the at 10 percent rate of interest. What is the financial leverage? Now, first let us look at the formula for financial leverage. Financial leverage is equal to EBIT by EBT. Very simple formula: earnings before interest and tax by earnings before tax. And EBIT nundi manamu interest manam minus chedan dwara EBIT in manam find out chedan. Now let us calculate the EBIT. So EBIT is equal to and operating profit is equal to sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost. That is the formula that can be applied to calculate the EBIT. So you could sales 20 lakhs minus variable cost 14 lakhs minus fixed cost 4 lakhs. So is equal to 2 lakh is the resulting figure. Now let us find out the EBIT. So EBIT calculate chedan ki EBIT minus uh, interest this is the manku EBIT ane do chesundi. So that is 20 lakh sales minus variable cost 14 lakh and uh, fixed cost 4 lakh minus interest. This is the EBIT ane manam find out chechu and a simple formula EBIT minus interest is equal to EBIT minus interest is equal to EBT. So now the EBT is EBT means earnings before tax that is 1 lakh rupees. Therefore, 2 lakhs by 1 lakh is equal to 2. Again, the answer is 2. Option A is the correct one. Now let us look at the option A that is 2. So you then the financial leverage key the simple formula EBIT by EBT. Uh, let us look at one more important problem. A firm has sales of rupees 20 lakh variable cost of rupees 14 lakh fixed cost of rupees 4 lakh and debt of rupees 10 lakh a 10 percent rate of interest what is the composite leverage e problem in the problem we can repeat chesam so in the moon financial leverage calculate chesam a problem in the composite leverage could have manam calculate church now let us look at the uh, formulas so composite leverage calculate challenge first manam operating leverage find out chali financial leverage find out chess in the rota okay simple formula dwara manam composite leverage in manam calculate church so in the mundu two problems go to discuss just a manam operating leverage is equal to the formula is contribution by operating profit that is ebit now contribution is equal to sales minus variable cost so sales 20 lakhs minus variable cost 14 lakhs is equal to 6 lakhs is the contribution now let us find out the operating profit operating profit is equal to sales that is 20 lakhs minus variable cost that is 14 lakh minus fixed cost 4 lakh is equal to 2 lakh is the resulting figure now 6 lakhs by 2 lakhs is equal to 3 so 3 is the uh, operating leverage for this problem now let us find out the financial leverage in the mundu manam calculate chesam problem lo so financial leverage in the 2 a formula in the mundu the uh, slide lo discuss chesan now let us move on to uh, calculation of composite leverage now composite leverage is equal to simple formula operating leverage into financial leverage so operating leverage financial leverage find out chesin tarata a rendu result ni multiply cheyadam dwara manam composite leverage ni calculate cheyochu so that is operating leverage is 3 financial leverage is 2 therefore the answer is 6 now let us look at the answer answer d is the correct one so ippudu varaku manam operating leverage formula enti ela calculate cheyal chusam financial leverage enti chusam dan yokka formula ela Vadalana chusam composite leverage could a manamikada calculate chedam jarindi. So you danga e mood techniques nunchi a problem much in a miru chedan ki prayatna chandi. Now let us look at one more important question. Which of the following leverages is known as trading unequity? I think it is repeated once again. So 
the correct answer is financial leverage our next important question is the degree of financial leverage reflects the responsiveness of option a operating income to change in total revenue b eps to change in ebit c eps to change in total revenue d none of the above the correct answer is b eps to change in ebit that is earnings per share to change in earnings before interest and tax uh, 19th question the measure of sensitivity of return on investment that is roi of changes in the level of current assets ca is known as the option is d that is working capital leverage and the correct answer so the last question uh, in this video is interest is equal to 5000 sales is equal to 50000 variable cost is equal to 25000 fixed cost is equal to 15000 then what is the operating leverage so chala problem chesamanam operating leverage is equal to contribution by operating profit so contribution is equal to sales minus variable cost that is 50000 minus 25 is equal to 25000 now uh, let us find out the operating profit so for operating profit formula is sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost so that is 50000 minus 25000 minus fixed cost 15000 then the resulting amount is 10000 therefore 25000 by 10000 is equal to 2.5 is the operating leverage for this problem so now let us find out the option that is option a is the correct one 2.5 so idandi manam ee roju financial management loni leverage topics nunchi raavadan ki avakasham unnatvanti important bits nu nenu ee video lo meeku vivarinchanu so ivanni practice cheyandi problems practice cheyandi conceptual related questions kuda meer practice cheyandi so din dwara manam ee chapter nunchi manam one or two questions manam jl lo kaani dl lo kaani manam expect cheyachu so i wish you all the best thank you very much for watching this video so ee bits nu important bits nenu ఈ రెండు రెఫరెన్స్ బుక్స్ను చూడడం ద్వారా నేను తయారు చేశాను ఒకటి ఫైనాన్షియల్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అకౌంటింగ్ బై శర్మా అండ్ శశికే గుప్తా ఫైనాన్షియల్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ బై ప్రసన్న చంద్ర ఈ రెండు రెఫర్ చేస్తూ చేశాను మీరు కూడా వీటిని రెఫర్ చేయొచ్చు సో థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ ఫర్ వాచింగ్ దిస్ వీడియో సో ఐ విష్ యూ ఆల్ ద బెస్ట్ సో లైక్ మై వీడియోస్ అండ్ షేర్ ఇట్ విత్ యువర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ అండ్ డోంట్ ఫర్గెట్ టు సబ్స్క్రైబ్ టు మై ఛానల్ కైండ్లీ ఎంకరేజ్ మై ఛానల్ ముందు ఇంకా మిగతా టాపిక్స్ నుండి కూడా నేను వీడియో చేసి నా ఛానల్ అప్లోడ్ చేస్తాను నా ఛానల్ చూస్తూ ఉండండి థ్యాంక్ యూ వన్ అండ్ ఆల్